hello my leos so um just so you know the area has already been cleansed i just had to do that before i turn on the camera because i turn on the fan and otherwise the the candle goes haywire <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started what is the energy for leo these are timeless guys so just keep that in mind first card that came out is the hawk and we got the dragon divine feminine energy overall energy Ooh, the wolf okay okie dokie so let's look at these let's start with the wolf mm, that is earth energy in this book let's see where's the wolf give me a second i need to find it there we go okay so the wolf represents guardian of family and tribe activism ritual the wolf's mission is to uphold the well-being and longevity of the pack healthy wolf energy expresses itself through activism mentorship humanitarian efforts or teaching religious or political studies the wolf gets into trouble when it assumes every member of the tribe must follow suit this includes children walking in their parents footsteps Although it will surely be uncomfortable at first, practicing tolerance helps balance out agitated wolf energy. Contemplate the following. Embrace all, exclude none. When in balance, reliable, democratic, and fearless. When out of balance, judgmental, dominating. To bring into, pal to bring into balance, practice letting go. Interesting. Let's look at the hawk. Mm -hmm. And this is in the air section. Let's see here, the hawk. Watchful, all-seeing, messenger of divinity. The sharp eyes of the hawk watch our every move. This keen-eyed bird has the ability to see every little detail as well as the bigger picture. When this card appears, fate has its eyes on you and the winds are shifting. It is said that the hawk carries news upon its wings and is sent from divinity itself to deliver it. The message should not be taken lightly. Though it may seem small or insignificant, it will eventually redirect your course. When in balance, sees clearly, intuitive. When out of balance, sees too much, suspicious. To bring into balance, perspective shift. Okay. And then this one, the dragon is a spirit card. So let me find which chakra it's connected to. Here we go. The dragon is seeing, one, seeing one's most true self. One, yeah, most true self. Balancing the ego. <laughs> Thought I had read it wrong. The dragon sees everything. Its essence has been with us since before our first breath and will be there at our last. It watches us navigate the external world as well as our inner world. When dragon energy is awakened, we are courageous, visionary, and can easily drop into witness consciousness. It is almost as if we are traveling with a great friend inside of ourselves. When we look in the mirror, deep into our eyes, we may even glimpse the self behind the self, the one who is watching us. This is the power of the dragon breathing transformative fire into every cell of our body. bodies. Witnessing this omnipotent energy, even for a brief moment, helps us surrender and let go. We let the dragon guide us. We hop on its back for a ride, and as we traverse even the most difficult terrain, the dragon's eyes see beauty everywhere. It is said that if a yogi does not see beauty in the world, their agni is dim. Agni is described as inner fire or sacred intelligence. May even just the mention of the dragon stir the embers of intelligence within you. The dragon and the third chakra, which is the solar plexus. The subtle energy of the dragon lives at the navel center in the Manipura chakra. Manipura translates to the city of hidden gems, and behind its gates burn the fire of our transformation and digestion. The sages believe health of the fire at the navel center is what governs our ability to clearly see both the inner and outer dimensions. Okay. Okay, Leo. So, let's see. Let's, let's... <laughs> Before I start talking, because I feel like this this could be a mix, honestly. This could be um there's something here about you may be making certain decisions out of your ego. 
and not out of a place of love, not out of a place of connecting with divinity. But it could also be that you are just being very protective of yourself right now. So let's let's see. What does this have to do with Leo's message right now? What's the message for Leo? Okay, so we start with the Six of Wands. What's the message for Leo? Temperance. Five of Wands. What's the message for Leo? If I can pick it up. Death. What's the message for Leo? The Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. The Innocence of Cups, which is basically the Page of Cups in this deck. <clears throat> The Two of Swords. And let's see. Ooh. Justice card. Movement of Pentacles, which is the Knight of Pentacles. And then we had an extra card come out. And this is the Nine of Cups. Okay. Overall energy, the Heart of Pentacles, which is basically the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the Earth Mother, which is the Empress. Ooh, look at this. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. Okay, look at look at the, the way they came out, okay? First, we've got the Heart of Pentacles. Then we got the Earth Mother, which is the Empress. Then we got the Sky Father, Sky Daddy, which is the Emperor. <laughs> and then we got the Lovers. Leo. What are you doing out here? It's interesting because I don't see that reflected too much in the reading. There's a tiny hint of it because we do have the Ace of Pentacles, which is a whole new start. We've got the Death card, which means, again, a huge transformation in your life. So I feel like you're this close to coming together with your... Ooh, 11, 11 on the clock right now. I swear to God. Look at this. 11, 11. Okay, Leo. Okay. Um, I feel like you're preparing yourself for this. You can sense it coming. You're preparing yourself. So maybe the wolf came out because whoever you're getting together with, you may have to tolerate some things. You can't force them to be like you and they can't force you to be like them. With the hawk here, divinity has been sending you signals, signs. Um, but there's all this energy of balancing each other out, which would make sense if it's an emperor and empress coming together. Um, there is a lot of balancing energy. I will say with the six of wands, there's something about this connection that puts both of you in the spotlight somehow. There will be some challenges with the Five of Wands. But with the Page of Cups, this is something you've been dreaming about for some time. You've been, um, how does that song go? Hold on. Oh, 
the song says. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's called Wishing and Hoping by Dusty Springfield. So it says, wishing and hoping and thinking and praying, planning and dreaming each night of his charms that won't get you into his arms. So if you're looking to find love you can share, all you got to do is hold him and kiss him and love him and show him that you care. Show him that you care just for him. Do the things he likes to do. Wear your hair just for him because you won't get him thinking and praying, wishing and hoping. <laughs> Just wishing and hoping and thinking and praying, planning and dreaming his kiss is the start. That won't get you into his heart. So if you're thinking how great true love is, all you gotta do is hold him and kiss him and squeeze him and love him. Yeah, just do it. And after you do, you will be his. And it just keeps going. So you've been practicing. <laughs> Not not practicing how to kiss and squeeze this person because I'm pretty sure you know how to do that. You've been mentally preparing yourself to be commitment in a commitment in a commitment in a committed relationship, whatever. I'm just trying to say both at the same time. That's why you're showing up as Queen of Pentacles and Earth Mother. But there are certain things that you're still going to have to adjust because the wolf energy indicates that there will be a little bit, like maybe this person can be a little dominant. I feel like there will be a period of adjustment. Let me put it that way. Um, either you are very dominant or they are very dominant. Or both of you, maybe. Even though you're showing up more in a feminine energy, you're showing up the heart of pentacles, uh, mother, earth mother energy. But the five of wands is right in the center. There will be challenges in this connection. And yet it's a wish come true. I do see you being very happy. Let's clarify. I'm excited for you, Leo. Good for you. Let's see. Let's start clarifying the heart of pentacles, first of all. Clarify the heart of pentacles. Ooh, yeah, okay. Making sure I had the deck up. The chariot. Clarify heart of pentacles. Daughter of Swords. Three of Cups. Overall energy, Ace of Wands. Eight of Wands. Four of Wands. I don't think this is, I don't think you are already with this person. Or if you are, you this is very new, very new. Because we got Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Wands as the overall energy on this one. So this is a whole new start. I don't think this is someone you already know. In fact, I don't think you know this person yet. But something, it, it's happening very quickly. Eight of Wands is like that. Followed by the Four of Wands. You're going you're gonna to be in a relationship very quickly. But I do know that although you may not know this person. Okay, there, there's two different possibilities. Because <clears throat> you do have the Three of Cups. For some of you, this is somebody who is currently a friend. And they're going to want to get out of the that area <clears throat> they're gonna want to take it to like they don't want platonic love with you anymore they want romantic eros type love with you so for some of you this is a friend who is going to shift into a relationship for others of you this is somebody who is very determined very chariot energy like you are in their mind you are theirs already <laughs> but with the page of swords they're already watching you 
They already got their eyes on you. However, with the Three of Cups, they may come in as a friend first. Although there's a lot of passion. I think that they're trying to not rush. That's really what it is. They're, they know who they want. They know what they want with you. They just, they may are, they may be a recuperating love bomber. <laughs> they're trying to not do that. Um, but this is an emperor, y'all. This is like assertive, masculine energy. Tell me about the six of wands. I like it. Got the five of swords. Ooh. Okay. Father of cups. The hermit. With the wheel of fortune, the ten of pentacles. The ace of wands again. Um, this is, this is like wonderful for you, but not so wonderful for other people for some reason. There's going to be, um, there's going to be a lot of people who don't like this union, but I say this all the time, guys, y'all can't be doing things based off of what people like or don't like, because you'll never satisfy the public. You really won't. So there will be gossip. There will be people saying very ugly things. Are you just going to have to not really give a fuck if you want this relationship to survive? And honestly, this is a twin flame connection because the issues are not going to be between you and this person. I mean, there will be some challenges, but not, not like things that are deal breakers. The attacks will come from outside the connection. But this person has shown up as King of Cups. They love you. With the hermit here, there's something about, there's two different things I'm picking up with this. This person may be somebody that everybody thought would never get married. Or they may be somebody who, there's something here with the five of swords. There's something about the way this person lives that you coming together with this person is a huge blessing for both you and this person, but it irritates a lot of people. A lot of people are going to be like giving you a stank eye. Now, if you're the type that doesn't really care for that, you're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. If you don't really care about people's opinion, you're going to be fine. But if you're somebody who does care about people's opinion, you will need to maybe withdraw a little bit from keep your relationship private until you feel it's already solid and then you can share it unless you know you don't have a choice and it's just it just happens very publicly for some reason tell me about temperance keep in mind the five of swords it's just it's not an actual attack it's people who are trying to hurt your feelings they're trying to make you feel bad so honestly, don't let them win. Clarify temperance. Four of Pentacles. The Moon. Nine of Pentacles. Overall energy is the Three of Pentacles, followed by the Four of Swords. And the Ace of Swords. For some of you, this may be somebody you're working with. Hold on. My back is hurting. I need to go get a massage. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um, yeah, for some of you, this may be somebody you work with. The Three of Pentacles here. This may be somebody that maybe you have... Um, you've built some sort of foundation with. Honestly, I feel like one of the reasons that there's all these attacks is because you and this person might do what I just said, where y'all keep the relationship very private. And then all of a sudden, you know, once you're sure, once you're both sure, 
you come out with it and a lot of people are really upset like they wanted to be a part of the whole process <laughs> but again that's none of their business they don't have to be a part of the process yeah four of pentacles the moon nine of pentacles both of you if both of you are single which obviously you would be why would you come together with someone who's not single um both of you being single you're going to both kind of be very mysterious about that i think that that's what's gonna piss people off because if this person is single and maybe they're a bachelor they're you know someone who's really desired by the community at large and you may also be somebody who's really desired and maybe there's a lot of people asking are y'all together or are you single and both of you are just kind of not responding or responding in a very diplomatic non-committal way so when the truth comes out people are going to be like we were asking you yeah well like i said it's not their business you don't have to share anything you don't want to share leo tell me about the five of wands just this card again tell me about the five of wands eight of swords Tell me about the sign of wands. Judgment. With the magician, the five of cups. The hanged man. I'm getting two different things because it is a collective, right? So I'm going to pick up different types of Leos and different scenarios. Some of you are going to elope. <laughs> like you're going to get married very quietly. And the whole time people are thinking you're still single. Then all of a sudden you're going to pop out with a husband or a wife. And everybody's going to be like, excuse me? <laughs> Mostly I think the people that are going to be upset are the people who had their eye on you or people who had their eye on this person. Those are gonna be the ones that are gonna be upset the most because they, they lost out. They, they missed their, their chance. Um, so they're the ones that are gonna be talking the most shit. They're gonna try and put you in this place of Look, look at the Eight of Swords. They're going to try and put you in this place where almost like they want you afraid, afraid to face the world. They're going to be casting judgment on you because they want you to feel like you don't deserve this relationship. You don't deserve this, this bond. Now, for some of you, this, this relationship doesn't even have to be like an actual relationship. This could be a business uh, contract because we do keep getting the justice card. The other storyline I was getting when I said some of you may elope, others of you, this justice card could mean a contract. Either way, people aren't gonna like it. They can't do anything about it though. Nowhere here do I see them actually having any power to impact you they just don't like that you're so happy they don't like that you're so that you're getting this opportunity whatever this opportunity is i think it's love for the majority of you i do think it's love but for others of you it could be work could be a job could be a partnership whatever it is the people that wanted this are not going to be happy they wanted this opportunity tell me about the death card Two of Cups. Six of Pentacles, Two of Swords, and the Magician. Overall energy is Seven of Pentacles, Five of Cups, the Hanged Man. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> 
Two of Cups. Like I said, I feel like for the majority of you, it is going to be romantic. But it could also, again, Two of Cups could indicate a union of, of companies, a union of ideas, a union of projects. With the Seven of Pentacles, though, a lot of the people that are going to be really upset is because they feel like they were investing. So let's say that uh, I'm talking to feminine Leos because, you know, over 90% of my listeners are female. So if I'm talking to a feminine Leo and you have you have an admirer who's been putting in a lot of energy and a lot of time and you were just like, no, thank you. But they thought they still had time to persuade you. They thought they still had time to convince you that they're the one for you. And then all of a sudden you pop out with a husband or a wife. Yeah, they're going to be upset. They'll get over it though. My dad used to say, now they have two jobs. They can get upset and they can get over it. <laughs> he would say that to us actually. <laughs> but that's that we're going to apply that here. These people have two jobs. Um, because I think that this, this is a massive change. I do think for the majority of you, it's some sudden shift. Like one, you're going to show up married. You're going to elope. Cause I do see like a quick, um, quick transition from single to in a relationship, solid relationship. So for some of you, you're acting all single. You don't tell anybody about the relationship. Then all of a sudden, boom, you show up married for others of you. This could be a move. Maybe you're going to relocate and same thing. You don't say anything until you're like in the new place, um, which is honestly, I always suggest that because big moves don't be telling people people's energy can affect your, your, your moves. So they might start accusing you of being a trickster of, um, being sneaky of being you know, a liar because you're omitting truths, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let them claim whatever they want to claim. You're not, nowhere here do I see the Seven of Swords. You're not lying. It's not like you intentionally are spreading falsehoods. You're just protecting your private life. And there's nothing wrong with that. You have every right to do so. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Like you're asking me, I have a Scorpio, Mercury, Scorpio, Venus. I'm not going to tell you jack shit about my life unless I trust you so. I don't care. If people get mad, Leo, let them get mad. They will get over it. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. We've got the Ace of Swords, Page of Wands, which is the Daughter of Wands in this deck. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Temperance and the Son of Swords. Overall energy is Seven of Wands, followed by the Emperor and the Sun. I think your Emperor, your Emperor is the one that's going to be asking you to keep it private. And there's something here about their life maybe has a lot of limelight on it a lot of um unless you're the emperor leo you might be the one in this situation but one of you is very visible to the world mm -hmm. leo are you getting with a celebrity oh my god <laughs> whatever it is that you're doing the emperor is very visible in the world and they're through their work eight of pentacles puts them has something to do with their work. So they may already know what's going to happen when they expose a relationship or when they expose this business partnership, whatever this union, let's call it a union because that covers, you know, multiple bases. They already know how people are going to react. So before they put you in the spot to face all of that criticism and harshness, they want to make sure that this is going to go long term, which is pretty wise, I would say. Because the Ace of Pentacles is that, you know, it's the, it's the possibility of something stable, but you need to nurture it. So with the Ace of Swords, I feel like you two are going to be having a lot of conversations. 
um, with the Daughter of Wands, they are, something about this relationship is out of both of your comfort zones. <laughs> so this could be, maybe you're coming together with someone from a very different religion. Maybe it's someone from a very different culture. Could it be someone from a whole other country? Maybe there's just very different statuses between you two. Something about this relationship is with temperance here and temperance already came out twice. You're blending two different, oh, maybe it's blended families. Like maybe both of you have children. And before you introduce each other to your children, you want to make sure that this is stable. With the Son of Swords, which is the, the Knight of Swords, I feel like these, these conversations you two are going to be having might be a little uncomfortable because you're going to be talking about things that are very like, I want to know, uh, let me think. Um, let's say you are from different countries, okay? Or let's say you're from different um, states, different provinces or, or, or whatever, you know, other countries call it. Um, you have to have the difficult conversations of like, okay, but where would we live? Whose family would we visit for the holidays? <laughs> and which holidays are we going to spend with yours? Which, which holidays are we going to spend with mine? That type of thing. Um, I feel like the talks are going to be very clear, very grounded. You're both going to be very open with what you feel and what you think. I want to, I'm feeling drawn to go over the wolf card again. Now that I'm looking at this, not sure why, but let's do it. Wolf is guardian of family and tribe. And the wolf gets into trouble when it assumes every member of the tribe must follow suit. Although it will surely be uncomfortable at first, Practicing tolerance helps balance out agitated wolf energy. So you need to be democratic, democratic, reliable, and fearless. I'm telling you, there's something about this connection where both of you have to tolerate certain things about each other. Maybe it has to do with dealing with somebody who is in the limelight. And again, this is a collective. So for some of you, the limelight could literally be that they have 50,000 followers online. For others of you, maybe this is somebody really famous in their town. For others of you, whatever it is, there's some level of attention on this person that you may have to deal with. Or you're the one that has the limelight on you and this person's going to have to deal with that. Either way, I'm telling you, there's there's uncomfortable conversations you're going to have to have but these uncomfortable conversations are necessary and they are building a foundation for you to to know whether this is going to work long term or not tell me about the ace of swords i get the son of wands mm -hmm. clarify ace of swords with the son of cups The Three of Wands. Overall energy, the Empress, followed by the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Twice. Twice, guys. This is a twin flame. For those of you who resonate with this, this is a twin flame. That's not a coincidence that both the Empress and the Emperor came out in both decks. A big part of the conversations that you two are going to have, not only is it going to be about where are we going to live, who are we going to spend time with, you're also going to be talking about your role in this relationship. So what this means is maybe this person doesn't want you to work. Maybe this person wants you to have children pretty quickly. And so y'all have to be settling what, okay, well, what would that entail? Um, how do we work that out? Who, how are we going to split the bills? That type of thing. Because Knight of Wands, this, this person, this emperor is ready to go. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> They're ready to go on every level. Um, 
they're ready to go sexually. They're ready to go. They're ready to build a life with you. Because the, the three of wands is like, I can already see through that little window. I can already see the life we're going to live. So <laughs> the Sun of Cups is the Knight of Cups energy, basically. They are so excited. Okay, regardless of whether this is a business partnership, whether this is a romantic partnership, whoever this person is that, that's working with you, they are very excited to build with you, whether romantically or non-romantically. Um, I love that because if this is a romantic connection, this is not somebody who's going to run from difficult conversations. They are... Um, emotionally available and willing. How about the Page of Cuffs? I suggest the book, um, Eight Dates. That book is great. It's, it's a great book because it's basically giving you the eight most important themes. The eight most common themes actually in divorces and they're like why don't you have these conversations before you get to that point i think it's a great book go look it up it's the eight dates please if you are in this situation leo these eight dates will knock out all doubts all questions you'll have well i it should <laughs> i haven't actually gone over it you know recently but i if i remember correctly it should tell me about the page of cups Got the Four of Cups, the Devil, the Queen of Swords. Overall energy, the Hanged Man, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. Hmm. Okay. This is interesting. Because this person has consist consistently showed up as the emperor. But there's something that you two are going to disagree on quite strongly. And because we are clarifying page of cups, maybe you're, clar you're disagreeing on how fast you should have children. Doesn't have to be. It could be if you are someone who does creative work. Maybe this person doesn't want you to work anymore and that could be a disagreement. But I see you be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like that kind of throws a wrench in this whole situation. Because you start looking at it like, I don't know, this seems kind of toxic. <laughs> you start looking at them like they might be the devil. Because it could be that with the wolf energy, maybe they are the ones that are very dominating and they want things their way. And <sighs> Queen of Swords, you've got to communicate. You've got to be very clear about what you're okay with, what you're not okay with, what you're willing to accept. The next card is a Two of Swords. They're, this, this is somebody who's willing to compromise. That's how I know they're not the devil. Although you may be afraid that this is about to get toxic. They're not trying to be toxic. This might be somebody who's very, just very traditional and maybe they expect a, a certain, they might have certain expectations, let me put it that way. They might have certain expectations about when they get into a relationship, they expect certain things. And you don't have to accept those things. With the Two of Swords, this is somebody who will negotiate. I don't know why I said negotiate, like it's a contract, okay, whatever. You can talk things out with this person. They're willing to listen. This is why it's important to not rush, right? Tell me about the Two of Swords. Mother of Pentacles. Father of Swords. Nine of Swords. The Nine of Wands, the Empress, the Eight of Pentacles. 
it does have something to do with your work or it has something to do with your daily life. Something you do in your daily life. They, but see, they're trying to be protective. Now, <laughs> I was raised by a father who was a very careful, protective father. But he was a little overprotective, okay? And I feel like this emperor is kind of in the same energy. They're not trying to suffocate you, but you may feel a little suffocated. All they're trying to do is protect you, but they may be coming on a little too strong. Because you, you show anxiety whenever they lay certain rules down. And then they start showing anxiety because you're like, no, I don't want that. That's not, I'm not okay with that. But they keep looking at you like the mother of pentacles. So uh, queen of pentacles, also, also the overall energy, the heart of pentacles. They look at you like, I, I just have to say this, okay? For some of you, they may look at you like, you don't need to work anyways. You're, you're going to be my wife and the mother of my children. And some of you, it's not that you don't want that, but you may have a business of your own and you may have built it with a lot of work and you're like, I'm not about to give this up. I can do both. I do see y'all coming to some sort of compromise though. But you're going to have to be very clear with this person. You're going to have to let them know what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. Communication is really, really key here. Tell me about the Justice card. Tell me about the Justice card. Ten of Swords, Six of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Tower. Overall energy, Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Two of Wands. There's a couple of ways this could go, guys. This could be the fact that your masculine may, this could be a deal breaker for them. Because they want you to be a queen of pentacles. They want you to be like a traditional wife. A conservative wife. If this is a business partnership of, or a contract of, the, of some sort, there's a lot of... Um, they they want to be in control. But it is wolf energy. Remember, it was the, the guardian of the family, right? So they feel like they need to be the breadwinner. They need to be the one who does things. Uh, even if it's a contract, they want to be the ones that leads. They see themselves as your guide. I'm not saying that's good or bad, because honestly, some of you may be okay with that. Some of you may not. But the ones I'm reading for right now, the majority are not going to be okay with that. Not that you don't want a garden, but you feel like they're over they're overdoing it they're overstepping their bounds so there will most likely be a clash now the other thing i'm seeing because the justice card has come out twice and i'm going to be really clear with you if this is a relationship, this person may have divorced someone else to come to you. That will be why people will be so, you know, vicious. But honestly, if they're not happy somewhere, it'd be bad if they came to you while they're still married. So at least they're clearing things out. But people uh, with the tower, at some point, it's going to come out. Like maybe when they got divorced, people were just like, well, they got divorced, you know. But then a little while later, they pop up married to you. And people are going to assume, even if you had nothing to do with that, people are going to assume 
that you were the person that got in the middle of these two. That might be why this person doesn't want you working because they may see it like, like they're trying to shield you from the nasty comments. So let's say that you have a business of your own. You may have people attacking your business. If you have, uh, or maybe if you work at a specific spot that you've built, you know, cause I, I see you putting in a lot of work, which is why you don't want to walk away from whatever it is you built. People might be going to your work to harass you. They might be trying to say really nasty, mean things. And that's what this person is trying to protect you from. But, you know, I don't know. We, it, it would be difficult to just stop living your life because people are mean. Because let's be real, people are always going to be mean. That's not going to change. I'll tell you about the movement of pentacles, the knight of pentacles. Queen of wands. The empress. And the daughter of pentacles. With the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Cups. I see two different reactions. They're very clearly different. So I feel some of you are going to say, look, I've been through this before. This isn't going to break me. I don't care. And you're going to keep working. You're going to be like, let me show you why I'm the motherfucking empress. This doesn't phase me. And you're just going to keep doing your thing. You're going to trust. You're going to know. I know I didn't do anything wrong. I know that I, I wasn't even aware that you were married. I wasn't even aware of you or whatever. Because I'm telling you, this person is just now coming into your life. For others of you, I see you being like, okay, let's try it your way. Let's see if if that makes everybody else calm down. So I honestly see two very different reactions and either one, there's no such thing as a right or wrong reaction because it's your life. You're the one that decides what you want to do, Leo. Either way, I do see you being very happy, whichever one you decide to go with. Because whoever this person is, all they're trying to do is protect you. It's not like they're trying to get you to not work because they're trying to control your life. That's not what it is. They are a guardian. They're showing up as a guardian. They're trying to shield you, protect you. So the dragon card is here because it really has to do with how confident you are in yourself. Um, if you feel like, look, I don't think I could take all that heat, you don't have to. Or if you're like, that's not even, that's a regular Tuesday for me. Okay. You can take it. It doesn't matter. Either way is fine. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. The Sun. And the Fool card. <laughs> with the Father of Wands, followed by the Two of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Look, I'm telling you, you are dealing with someone who is a guardian, a protector. Even if you decide to continue working, even if you decide to keep building whatever you're building, this person's not going to tolerate anyone disrespecting you. Ultimately, what they want is for you to be happy. So if working, if continuing to work makes you happy, they're going to be okay with that. Like I said, you just need to communicate with them. And if you decide, okay, maybe I thought I could handle it and it's getting a little heavy. And now I, I think I, I will take a break from whatever it is I'm doing. They will be okay with that too. I really feel like you're going to, You're going to really feel like this is your match in every way. This is true teamwork. This isn't 
them, you may interpret their behavior at first as being very dogmatic or dominant. And you'll realize it, it's not anything of the sort. They just are trying to protect you, but they may be a little heavy handed with it. And so you need to be very communicative. You need to let them know, whoa, whoa, I like making my own decisions. We can make the decision together, but include me in the decision. Don't assume that I need to take a certain decision. Because remember, with the hawk, what was the hawk again? Was it, it's talking about divine messages. So if you're unsure what to do, let me see, divine hawk. Yeah. It's also talking about a perspective shift. It's going to take a perspective shift on your part and on this person's part. On your part, because you might start seeing this person as like being very dog dominant and dogmatic, and they might need a perspective shift because they might, they might start making decisions without consulting you. You're going to have to be like, oh, hold on. <laughs> Me no like that. And that's okay. Just explain it to them. Both of you will shift your perspective. That's how the communication will work best. If you express to the other person what you, what, what's going on in your head, what's going on through your eyes. And then they can explain to you what's going on through their eyes and their head so that you both can understand each other. That's how you'll get through this, okay? But ultimately, Leo, this is, to me, this is a lot more of an ideal situation. If the problems are coming from outside of the connection, that's a plus. To me, that that's, you're winning. You're already winning. Because that means you two will be back to back protecting and defending your little circle. And that's the way it should be. So great job. Good job, Leo. Congratulations, whatever this is. Um, I hope it goes well. Okay. All right. Love you guys. I look forward to feedback and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.